Okay, I got this Vexlar Sonar Phone SP200 T box. And what it is is basically this wireless um, Wi Fi module that'll go to my phone and send all the sonar data um, from this transducer on the back here to my Navionics app, which will then create um, maps based on the depth that I'm in. So it's called Sonar Charts Live. So I'm going to show you how to install this. Okay, so this is everything that's in the package. You do get your two screws for hardware to mount your transducer, your dual port USB cigarette plug. Uh, I know it's not focusing too well, but the bottom one is a 2.1 amp transducer. And your power cable does come equipped already with terminals to go to your battery. So you get an indicator light, reset, and on-off switch on this box. The only hardware you really need is uh, your four mounting screws for this guy here. Okay, so I've uncoiled my transducer cable, just hung it over the transom here. Now I'm going to be mounting it on the port side. Um, ideally, you're going to want to have it on the starboard side of the motor because when your prop is spinning, it's going to shoot water up like this. So you want the water landing on top of the transducer. In this case, it's going to be shooting water up to it, which could cause cavitation. So it's not the most ideal, but because I have the structure scan and my um, HDS skimmer transducer on this side, I don't want another one. So what I am going to do is just mount it on the port side. You want to make sure it's not going to interfere with uh, loading and unloading any bunks. This strake running up the hall, this one running up the hall, if you have a row of rivets, you ideally want to get it in between the um, strakes and in between rivets. So my ideal location is going to be right about here. So I'm just going to hold the transducer up against the hall to where about half of it is below the hall. I'm going to mark the center of those holes and then drill them and install the uh, transducer with the screws. Okay, so I marked the center on those holes. So I'm going to use a 764 inch drill bit to drill those out. Okay, so holes are drilled. I filled them with a waterproof adhesive. And I've got some of that adhesive onto my screw as well. And now I'll just uh, screw the mount right to the transom. Okay, so my mount's in place there. I'd recommend using um, just hand tools because it is plastic and it's uh, you can kind of see it's bulging by the screws. So next thing is put our transducer on, put the, um, the nut and bolt supplied with the lock washer through here and then we'll just string our cable up the transom. Okay, so I've got that all in. I've put this split loom over the transducer cable. It's not necessary. I just like to do it as an extra measure of protection. If animals get at it um, or gets caught on something, chances are your cable's not going to get um, damaged, whereas the split loom will, and that's cheap and easy to replace. I just put these holders on just to uh, secure the transducer cable going up. I have to add one more here, but I ran out. So I'm going to just cut the zip tie on this boot and feed the transducer cable in. And I'll just be able to access it under there to mount the box, which I'm going to put right on the top up here. Okay, so next I'm going to mount the box. You just need four screws. And I've decided just to put it uh, right up in here, just slightly above the battery. So it'll sit in place, uh, just something like that. Okay, so that's the box mounted. On this connector here, I've attached the transducer. Just coiled up the rest of the cable. I then have my red and black power wire for the box to connect up to the positive and negative terminal on my battery. And then I can just uh, tidy up these cables and pair up to my phone and I'm done. So I've launched an avionics app, 
the bottom right button, the little sounder icon there. That'll allow me to control which charts I'm viewing. So I have the option of sonar charts, sonar charts live and avionics. So I have sonar charts live turned on and I'm using my Vexel RT box to create the map. So you can see how it's adjusting the map that comes uh, with the app to what's truly down there. I'm just gonna zigzag back over the same area. 